Hey, good morning, friends. Goblin Portal comes with one new hero. And obviously, the previous times fellow also, Shimmer Scale, featured. Kaelin, uh, Ice Legendary, Wizard class. So there is a harder rack possible to the buff. Buffies. Garrison Guard family bonus is available to one to three heroes. They start with a mega minion of a particular percentage of HP depending on the number of heroes with a percentage of attack inherited from this caster depending again on the number of heroes. This cool passive is well known to everybody. Every four turn removes all wither effects from all allies. That's the reason for them being sought after because the top teams still have are loaded with Goblins on defenses, it's become insanely irritating, but that's how it is, what to do. Going straight into the stats, they're massive. 1128 attack, 1067 defense, 1617 health looks puny <laughs> compared to those other two, but it's still fairly good enough. That's max power preview. And it does look less because this usually hovers around 23, 2400. And, uh, but then that's because these two are high. So this will be a little bit tamed. That's why we have emblems. And now we are going to have master emblems. To <laughs> decide whatever the hell we want to do <laughs> to this or anything else. Soothing Melody at average speed is the special. Summons a shield guard mega minion with 60% HP and 160% attack. So that's a massive beefy minion, very difficult, going to be very difficult to kill. And uh, when you kill the minion, then this one fires. So there's a the mega minion back again. <laughs> but doesn't attack hard. That doesn't matter. That fellow will keep irritating and causing mess. Wow. One mega minion. Mega minions replace all existing minions and fiends. So that's something it's standard. The question mark can be clicked in red. So that we've discussed before. Now, shield guard mega minion safely cleanses the latest cleansable status ailment from all allies each turn. So this guy is going to stick around, not die, and keep cleansing. So there you have it. Apart from a whack, which the minion will take, he will keep cleansing. It will keep cleansing. Let me use that word. All enemies fall asleep. So it keeps cleansing the cleansable elements of the allies and all enemies fall asleep moment Kaelin fires while asleep the target cannot attack or gain mana all damage dealt to the sleeping target is increased by plus 70 percent the sleeping target is woken once it takes damage this includes damage from minions sorry this excludes damage from minions and fiends so if you're, you know, it's very, it's going to be a very interesting strategy to use Kalen. First of all, he's beefed up. Second, he keeps cleansing. Third, makes everybody opposite fall asleep. Just take a minion heavy team along with this fellow and the minions keep chewing away. So it'll be a slow motion kill, which usually doesn't happen in the, today's times because... That's how it is. One doesn't have patience. <laughs> so that's one. On offense can be used in a very interesting manner because fiends, uh, damage from fiends and minions is not included in waking up the sleeping target due to damage. The other part uh, that I see is give an ailment the opposition. Fire Kaelin. Everybody falls asleep. 
and boom, an impact all hero hammers. The damage dealt is much harder. Another impact all hero. It's an ideal scenario that I'm just creating. But jokes apart, you know, that can still be real. But all things apart, the sleep make all enemies fall or specific enemy fall asleep. Heroes have not been in vogue. Multiple reasons. One, they're very rare. So that's that. This one is a little different. And this one is going to be irritating. And this one can be used well. And I'm sure the players who have those heroes, at least that last one, I think Teddy, if I remember, he also makes everybody fall asleep. So on offense, Teddy is being used very differently from defense. So this making people fall asleep or... Uh, uh, heroes are good on offense not so much on defense and that's why I'm able to make videos on defense because I don't have the hero Teddy or um, I did not even try that uh, green uh, hero of the month that would fall make one hero fall asleep so that wasn't worth it but these making all he all enemies fall asleep heroes they have a brilliant utility on offense that is something that is going to be really cool for this fellow too. And plus this fellow is already cleansing and the damage is going to be plus 70% increased. And that's a great strength because that's a straight buff. Cleanses, straight buff and personally preserved because of the mega minion. Massive beef. And by the time the minion is killed, this fellow is fired. Charge to fire again. Tough hero. It's going to be on defenses. Uh, top defenses for sure. As a showpiece. And is going to be irritating. I will not say will not. Because there is a strong survivability inbuilt into Kaelin. Via the mega minion. But on offense. This is going to be a very cool hero. That's my feel. Yep. Yeah, that's about it. That's Kaelin. This is going to be useful. This is going to be useful till this fellow fires. And of course, this is massive, massive. And this will become massive. Chase, Chase, good luck for getting him. Congratulations in case you've already got him. Cheers. And see you in the next one. Ulmer says hi.